for 120 years, the Chapel Street Water Tower has watched over the city of Columbus. A little more than three weeks ago, that tower was hit by lightning and was damaged. And structural engineers have been working ever since to determine if the historic tower can be saved. Our Dave Delosier has been covering this since it happened. He joins us now with an update tonight. Dave? Yeah, Eric and Charlotte, you know, because of concerns about the structural integrity of that tower, two nearby homeowners have been forced to live elsewhere. Unfortunately, they will not be able to return to their homes for at least another two to three weeks, but the tower itself can be saved. Work began today as stonemasons started restoration on the historic tower. When lightning hit the tower on July 21st, it sent brick and mortar flying from one side of the structure. Two different structural engineers determined the tower could be saved. Given the historical significance of the Chapel Street water tower, there was strong support to save it if possible. There's a, a, a pretty good core group of uh, people in the community that really value our history, and that's a big piece of it. So to know that and to know that it can be saved uh, was something that people wanted to hear, I think. Now, one thing that is slowing down the restoration work is finding enough brick to match the stone on the tower. It is a unique stone, and the stonemasons are working hard to try to find enough to repair the damage done by the lightning. Now, once the structural engineers determined the tower was still sound and could be saved, paying for the repairs for, was the last hurdle the city faced. The city had an insurance policy out on it, and the insurance this weekend informed them that they will be paying for the repairs. So Charlotte and Eric, you know, in, in a matter of two to three weeks, this is all going to be behind them, and they'll, they'll have their historic tower back again. Wonderful. All it right, is. Dave. Thank news. you.